why am I just finding out that you can get kidney stones from eating too many sweet potatoes? Can we do any thing? Oh. Well, he's technically right, but kind of in the same way as me saying that you could get hit by a bus tomorrow. You're still going to go outside, so let's dig a little deeper. Sweet potato along with spinach, rhubarb and almonds are high in oxalates. For most people, that won't cause any harm. But in some, those oxalates can be absorbed into the blood, travel to the kidneys and then bind with calcium to form the most common type of kidney stones, calcium oxalate stones. So in stone formers, you could say eat fewer vegetables, which also have health benefits, or do the smarter thing and reduce those oxalates before they even get absorbed into the blood in the first place by binding them with calcium in the gut, which you can do by pairing oxalate rich foods with calcium rich foods like kale or dairy, or you can boil sweet potatoes instead of baking or steaming, which can reduce 30 to 80% of their oxalate content as long as you throw the water away. So if anyone blanket tells you to eat fewer vegetables, then you should congratulate them on identifying themselves as a turnip.